This problem has to do with establishing the law of sines. So form a triangle here. And what we'll do is we'll allow A to represent the angle here, B to represent this angle, and C to represent this angle. Then we can draw a perpendicular line from the vertex at C down to this base here like is shown. So this line meets this line in two right angles. And now from the definition of the sine, we know that H, that's this length here, is equal to B times the sine of A. And H is also equal to A times the sine of B. So you see I can, I can say that. So what we have is this here. And we can divide both sides by A and then divide both sides by B, and that gives us part of the law of sines. Now, we can do exactly the same reasoning to show that sine of big A over A is equal to sine of big C over C. All we have to do is just drop a different perpendicular. So we take a perpendicular from here down to here, for example. And uh, then that would, by the same reasoning, give us this. And that, of course, is the law of sines.